During an inter-county exchange forum on prevention of violent extremism in Kwale, Isiolo and Nakuru counties at Diani Kwale County, the stakeholders raised concerns over breeding grounds for militia recruits in the country. Coast Regional Coordinator John Elungata stated that Kwale is among the counties involved in the extremism activities, with two active terror cells having been identified. So as, as Professor will be researching, I would want to ask him to research why we still export uh, extreme elements. We still export. Actually, most of the people we are arresting going to uh, Somalia and other places, including Mozambique, are our children from here. We cannot have an effective economic takeoff if we don't deal effectively with the matters of extremism. The stakeholders who included the county and national governments, human rights defenders, security leaders among other officials, noted that a number of youths are being exported to Somalia and Mozambique through the terror cells in Kwale County. It is because of this that some of us were touched and started this conversation, that we need to intervene, we need to come in and make a contribution, especially in understanding the whole issue of radicalization, violent extremism, recruitment. Kwale County Governor Salim Vuria said there is need for stakeholders to agree on the model of solving the issue of violent extremism since it affects all sectors. It is a very important forum because the security organs have come to us. They have a role to play and as the commander will say, sometimes they have to use their tools of work. But before we reach that extreme end, where tools of work have to be utilized, what is it that we can do to prevent violent extremism? Human rights defenders in Kwale also noted that county action plans have helped counter violent extremism, with Kwale recording only one incident in 2019, although it remains a breeding ground and exporter of terrorists. Nixon Kisaka, K24 TV, Nairobi.